Well, that was a little confusing. What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Welcome, welcome. We're getting the show started here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What is going on? I had a little conniption there with the bot for it. I don't know what I did. I signed in as the bot, as the streamer somehow. I don't remember doing that, but I did at some point, so I had to go back and re-sign in to everything. But we got that sorted out. It is back to normal. The giveaway is going Oof, we're good. We're good. We made it. We're here, chat. It's Tuesday. Chill. Work is done. It's time to play some video games. We're going to be playing some EverQuest 2 over on Kaladim server. Hope everybody's having a great week. Florida looks like we might be in some shit. Not just Corona shit. We've got a, we've got a storm that's on the way. Supposedly. We'll, we'll see, because we all know how the us Floridians know how these things usually go. The ones that are projected to hit us usually never hit us. It's the ones that aren't projected to hit us that are usually the ones that get pretty close to us. But, needless to say, you always should be prepared, which I am not. So, there is that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, news in the world of Revis, not much. I think I got the stream anniversary planned. Um, it's still not set in stone yet. It won't be at the beginning of August. It's going to be midway. So August 15th, which I believe is a Saturday. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Saturday. I think is where we're going to do the stream anniversary. What's up, Jackson? You are right to be from Florida. Yep. Um, so the stream anniversary will be on Saturday, the 15th. Um, same rules apply. We'll probably do an all day stream. Um, at the end of the stream, there'll be a Stein giveaway, a Rebus Stein. I don't have one here to show you. I've given away two in the past, so this will be the third version of the Stein. Get some sun that's healthy for you? Yeah, man. I get sun. I get sun all the time. You're too white to be from Florida. Oh, I read that wrong the first time. Too white to be from Florida? Okay. No, I got lights on me, man. Really bright. But I'm out in the sun all the time. What are you talking about? I'm half ginger. So there's that as well. Freckles. See? Freckles all over. Red hair. That happens. Too white to be in Florida, to be from Florida. Okay. Have you seen Florida lately? No? No? Okay. But um, yeah, stream anniversary is on the 15th. will be a Stein giveaway, the third version of the Stein. Um, you don't have to stay in the stream the entire day. You just come in. You have to be following the channel. And um, that'll put you in for the giveaway. We'll be switching it up with multiple games on Saturday, not just EverQuest 2. So there's that. I'll be prepping all that in the coming weeks. But um, what else was there? There is a new channel point redeem that I added. I should have added. Yeah, story time is in there. Nope, I don't want to step foot in that state. Too dangerous, too much COVID flood around. That is true. It is very true. We are the epicenter. Only go out when you have to. But yeah. Yep, yep, yep. But we're going to be playing some EverQuest 2. Um, I hit 79 yesterday. Uh, I was doing some lore and legend stuff and prep for story time. So I ended up leveling to level 79. We got one more level to go, and then we're max for this expansion. And um, then we can start our epic. We did finish out the Belly Wamper um, faction, and I completed that quest. So now we have Down by the Lake and Bone Splint Silk. I'll probably be working Bone Splint Silk first. Um, I'm, I need to look up the Realist Faction timeline because I want the cloak that is from that. Hardware was also saying something about the cloak the other day. Well, I'll have to check that out. Let me pull that up. Realist, I just want to make sure I'm on the right path. I'm pretty sure I am because I've just been doing every quest available in this zone. So I think we should be good. We'll, we'll get to it eventually at some point. I'm sure I'm going to probably have to do a bunch of Faction too. Realist um, faction EQ2. 
want the cloak though. Realist faction. Gonna see what comes up. Uh, I don't see it. It comes up somewhere. Actually, you know what? It was in Discord. Field Discord Fizzle posted a um, picture of it. Might help if I go into the Aftermath Discord and then go to General. Scroll up. Way up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's here somewhere. way up there oh gosh okay I don't know it's somewhere in there getting close getting close uh, it's not there okay whatever it's all good close that yeah 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 so we're gonna be playing uh, some warden as of right now there was a Carnors group looking for more but then I think they found a healer that was when I was getting ready to go live, so it's all good. I hope everybody's having a great week. Thank you guys for stopping by. But yeah, if you got questions, put them in the chat. Otherwise, sit back, relax, enjoy the stream. Playing an oldie but a goodie. So we need to kill some uh, Yali down here, I believe. Gonna jam on EQ tonight? Nice, Jackson. These guys are level 81 ups, which they should be fine. And they're social. Good old social mobs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Summer down. Summer down. But yeah. Had a good week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Had a good weekend streams. Had a few, a set of good weekend streams. Good chatting it up with everybody. Saturday was more like a informative stream. We had a lot of people returning to EverQuest 2 and checking out the game. Then Sunday was just chill. Chill pretty much all day. It was good times. Good times. Got an AA point there. Alright. So that maxes out um, Tranquility. I'll need to figure out what I'm going for next. That's 40, that's 130, so we got 20 more points, I believe. I think, I think we got, oh, simmer down, Rhino. Alright, we'll just start over here. Grab this guy. Get a group for quick hunters open instances huh all right I'm surprised people are still running hunters but i guess it is best in slot still i mean like i'm still rocking the crossbow so i really can't say much take me. grab this guy here Headset keeps popping. It was storming when I got home. Came home, had some dinner, the fam, relaxed a little bit starting to storm. Thunder was pretty bad. I was like, it would be my luck if the power got cut out tonight. 
It's usually how it goes, right, chat? What's up, Ryan? I'm doing pretty good, man. Pretty chill. How you doing? How's the back, dude? Getting better? And it's always uh, right in the middle of something super important when it happens. Yep, for sure. Not bad, man. Thanks. That's all we're going to do. Getting better? Awesome, dude. What's up, Johnny? How's it going? Happy Tuesday. Bushy Beard is raiding with a party of six. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. I'll let you get through the ads. You got ads? How's it going, Bushy? Hope you had a good stream, man. I got a shout out for you. Grug's coming in the chat yelling at us. Uh, at Bushy. There we go. He's been streaming a lot of EverQuest 2 lately, guys. So go and check him out. Toss him a follow. Very antisocial. Thanks for that follow. Welcome. Had a great stream. Hope yours is going well so far. So far, man, we're just getting started. Getting a little warmed up here. Working, um, working some Fins of Nathsar quest, questing. This rhino really wants a piece of me. Roll to 91. Krug's going for the jackpot tonight, guys. Is going for the jackpot. Oh, I got my AFK tag up. My bad. Body pull. Oh, we got two. Uh, heal. Heal, 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 heal. The waves take me. The waves take me. I'm not going to die. This is expert level gameplay. Okay, Grug? Expert level warden gameplay. We know this. Berg's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, Berg's like, whatever. Whatever. These guys do hit pretty hard, though. Need to put that beer down? I don't actually have a beer tonight. It's all water, man. I've actually, um, I've only been drinking on the weekends. Trying to, anyways. Or days off of a beer. Well, the people coming over from my stream got their fill of death and <laughs> for the day already. Jeez. Die a lot today, Bush. You're leveling the... What character were you leveling now? I saw you online. Uh, yeah. Necromancer. Nice. Man, look at that. So that aggro range is ridiculous there. Working on the Necro at the moment. Very cool. I like Necro, man. I like it. That's what my main is on um, Halls of Fate. It is fun. 
Bushy beard redeemed ad time for 1500 plat. I got you. Sorry, y'all. But Bushy redeemed some ad time, so we're gonna have to play an ad real fast. Boom. At least the subs won't see the ad. I <laughs> got your back, brother. Hey, it actually. Oh, shit, I'm about to die, too. Um, the ad time actually does help, though. It does, because uh, now anybody that new that comes into the channel won't see ads for... Uh, it hasn't told me the time yet. It'll tell me the time here. I think it's like, what, 20 or 30 minutes or something like that? There's no ads for any new people that come into the chat, so works out pretty well. I know somebody's probably like, oh, just played an ad. I'm out of here. Unsub, unfollow. <laughs> the subs don't even see the ads. I appreciate it though, man. Good watching out. And you're back. Welcome back from the ad time there, guys. Where is the pre-rolls off for 20 minutes? That's right. Talking about. Very nice. Almost died there. Almost. Hey, somebody's yelling my name in guild chat. My bad. I was on the wrong tab, so I'll get to guild chat here in just a second. As soon as we don't die from these pissed off tadpoles. What's up, Rocket? How you doing, man? Long time no see. Oh, you saw I got it. Oh, yeah, I hit 130. I hit 130 points. Yeah. Thank you, dude. Yeah, see? Is, are you huggy? Nice. Very nice. Yep, we hit 130 points. 20 more to go. I think. Have you walked into Jar South Waste yet? No, I have not. Well, I've been in. Well, since ROK has launched, yeah, but not today. I have not been in Jar South today. After patch. Is there something going on? Maybe there's like a guide event or something. I don't know. I see, somebody said something about why. Are, there's a line of Nightbloods in Jar South. Who's this? Who's that? Conjuncture. Logged in and there's a whole bunch of Nightblood, so shit. That's interesting. Who's this guy? Oh, that's the uh, mythic guy for Monk. He's walking through here, chilling. So yeah, um, stream anniversary is going to be Saturday, August 15th. It's going to be the all day stream. Um, as of right now, I'm going to be looking to start sometime in the morning around 10 or 11. And we'll go for about 12 hours, I think. On Saturday. There'll be a Stein giveaway. Like normal. It's like clockwork, guys. Everybody knows that. I just logged in and there's a whole bunch of Nightbloods. I got two on that one. Nope, only got one. Sweet. Sweet. Um, 
hunters looking for deep healer and DPS level eighties. Um, Horse are looking for sub updates. Wait, is there a level eighty hunters, or is he doing? They're talking about hunters in H and uh, UF, right? Or are there new hunters quests today? They wouldn't do hunters this early, would they? Last one. Oh, where are you going, bud? Where are you going? Summon the hounds. Need to order some new glasses, chat. These are. I've about had it. The waves take me. The waves take me. To return. Uh, I should return this stone slab to the defender. Talkin. She is it's not up here. He's down here. Right? Oh, shit. Yeah, he is. Right here. Hail! Hail! Uh, oh, shit. It's a heroic. I should investigate the going on in Yaley within Vesker. Let's just go ahead and we'll turn that off for right now. We also have um, the Sunken Theater. And we have... Um, Rook, I need to, Nurga. Where is Nurga? I don't think I've ever ran Nurga. I didn't realize there was an actual, I know the mines, but. Mines of Nurga. Hold on, is this a heroic, but it's a solo heroic, maybe? Need to enter the Temple of Nurga. Temple. Let's see. I don't see that on here. Let me look that up real fast. Um, this is uh, the Shas Ik. Crystal two. No, just um, yeah, the quest that's fine. Uh, enter Nurga from the mines of Nurga, Raga. I'm saying it all terrible, I guess. Walk through the stone and defeat each mob. It says it's heroic, though. Like, is it an actual heroic or is it just a Oh, so it rewards the band of okay. It's a ring it's the ring quest. So is it an actual heroic dungeon though? Hmm. Level 80 to enter. The location is the cave entrance that leads to the zone. This is an AoE heavy zone. Almost every encounter is three to five mobs. Double up or or single up or double up. If you bring a warlock or a strong AoE class, otherwise the zone will take much longer. Uh, the first named Blood Chief Tazabos will summon an 81 triple up. Elemental blazes. Um that does doesn't seem like a super long one. 
Could use a trio, I think, and be good. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we will just turn that off right now. Somebody in guild like stay away from the glue. Have a good night, Bushy. All right, uh, I'm gonna slay some bone splint piercers and scatter within the field of bone. Bone splint piercers. Hello. I'd like to travel. We're gonna go up to. I guess it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Right, so that's not too shabby. Um, tiny rumbles. Um, I want to look at this ring real fast. Eighty. Oh. Whoa. Those stats, though. What? The stats are nice, but look at that effect. Applies rebuke to the sum of the summoner when activated. Exerts the summoner's will upon the target, limiting their true power and making them extremely vulnerable to punishment. What? Dang. Hmm, I might have to wait till 80. I can't use the ring now anyways, but. I think I'm going to wait till 80 and I'll run that because I feel like running it right now is kind of pointless. Get a group together and do that when we hit 80. That, that's crazy stats, right? That's like double any of my current, well, not almost double any of my current rings. That's crazy. So now we're looking for bone splint piercers. Um, in size, it's a, uh, it's my mount. So I have a leaper mount. It's, it's right now it's called, it's called the petty powered posty or punter. You can, um, get a leaper mount. If you're level 35, you can do a quest over in, um, butcher block that gives you a raptor that'll allow you to jump as well. But I have a po petty post, petty powered posty or punter. The last TLE server when it launched, they gave everybody like you had 20 days or something or no, I can't remember the details. We've talked about this a few times and people keep telling me and they, I keep forgetting. I can't remember how many days it was, but if you level just level 20 in a certain amount of time, your account, they get the, the game gave you one of these for your account and you can claim it on any character for one time. So, um, it was a account wide reward. And I, it's a, called a petty powered posterior punter. So when I jump, the boot comes out and it kicks me in the butt and 
pushes me way up in the sky. Yeah. But you can also do, there's a quick quest if you're level 35 plus that you can, or even 30, I think, I think it's 35 actually. Um, in Butcher Block Mountains, you can go there. It takes about 15 minutes to do, and you'll get a Raptor Mount that does the same thing. Yeah, people, it was funny before when not a lot of people knew about the Petty Post Petty Powered Posterior Punter. Um, not a lot of people, they thought I had hacks or some shit. I'm like, no, it's just a Leaper Mount, guys. Chill. Chill. Need to find out where these piercers are. Those are splitters. Spitters, not splitters. But yeah. And we just had Leaper Mountains enabled not too long ago. Right towards the end of EOF, I think, is when they finally enabled them for us. The live server has, like, flying mounts and shit. We don't have any of that. We just got Leapers. We just got the Leapers. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of cheating getting around. But for a casual player for me, I enjoy it. Yeah, I have the article saved. I'll pull it up here in just a second. Let me get to a safe spot where I'm not aggering the entire land of the dead here. All right, these are the creepy and spiders we got to kill. It's cool, I haven't played EQ2 since release. Been trying to play again. Um, last computer game I was played Rift. Need another computer to play EQ2. It's my favorite cool thing. Thanks for the fun. No problem, man. No problem in size. I appreciate appreciate the question, dude. I need a Halloween to come so I can get the spider for all my 120s. Ooh, yeah. I don't I don't have the spider yet either myself. Surprise. Yeah, so this is the new, this was the article. Um, need a swift kick to get motivated for the next 14 days. Any player who reaches level 10 on Fallen Gate server will earn the petty powered posterior punter mount. Yeah, so it was 14 days. This is the original. This server is not, act, they don't They don't have the server anymore. That server, that was the old TLE server. But that was the article that they put out. Even then, when I played, I only played when I got went to the friend's house because his parents were really into the game. Those are the ones that who showed me it was. Um, those are the ones who showed me it. I only got up to like twenty. That was because I played when I went over there. Stopped playing over. The, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I've played um, EverQuest two since release as well. I've taken a few breaks. I've played Rift, like you said, like you. Um, I've dabbled in Rift, Guild Wars two. I think were the two other MMOs that I spent the most time in. There was like a good amount of um, ESO online too in between there. But not like when I say good amount, I'm 40 hours maybe in ESO total. Rift and Guild Wars 2 were home outside of EQ2. But then I came back to EQ2 probably about three years ago, maybe. Maybe a little longer now. Been playing since. It keep it scratches that itch, man. What can I say? If you're looking for an MMO and nothing's scratching the itch, then give EQ2 a try. You might like it. 
Oh, these guys still want to kill me. Okay. Ooh, server lag. Fun. There's a little bit of delay on stuff. That's not good. That's not good. Oh god. It's happening, chat. Happening. That is strange. That is happening after a server reset. I mean, it, is it really strange? The last, the past few updates, we've had issues, so it's not really surprising to me. Unfortunately, I always love the game though, mostly because of the collections. It's fascinating to find them all searching for more. To yeah, I'm terrible at completing. I can find lots of collections, but I'm terrible at completing those collections. My current collection quest log is 155 discovered quests. I've uh, total completed 36. God, they're gonna fucking take the server down. I'm just waiting for the announcement. Maybe it's just this area. It could just be this zone. Greg's like, you suck. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, man. Erg's always coming in with the positive reinforcement. <laughs> oh, man. Plenty of people looking for a group tonight. Looks like 60s, mainly 60s though, and low 70s. Man, these spiders are flipping creepy looking, dude. Freaking creepy looking. I just looked at that one and it died. Oh, I'm all done with these now. Need to return. Uh, should return to Pudge the Brave within the burrows below Kern's Tower in the ends of Nathsar. I gotta go do Rillis Faction too, because I want that cloak. Level 80 cloak. Sweet. I'm a questaholic. Chat. Rebus earned the achievement Kaladim Questaholic.
All right, slayers and scarabs. I'm going to slay ageless dragon slayers. They're over by the... Oh, there's the scarabs. Grab them. Wow. They are doing some damage. They are wrecking me right now. That's annoying. That is annoying. Like some of the spell, some of it just has a delay, like a very slight delay. I know, right, Johnny? I, at this point, like I just don't think I will ever leave this zone. Well, this, this quest timeline that I'm on right now is actually for Kern's Tower access. We don't have... It, the zone itself is not unlocked yet for our server, but I want to go ahead and do the quest access. I was doing it for the Belly Whomper faction because it's faster than grinding the uh, 1k quest. But I already completed the Belly Whomper stuff, and I have plus 30,000 faction with the Belly Whompers, but... I've already started this timeline, so I might as well finish it, right? But Fins has by far had more quests than any of the zones so far. I haven't even touched Kunzar Jungle or um, Jarsath Waste yet either. And right now, for completed, I have Justin Fins. 91 completed quests in Fens. Kunzar Jungle, or, um, not Kunzar, um, Kailong Plains was 88 quests. That is a ridiculous amount of questing. This delay is stupid. I don't like it. God damn it, man. Now it stuns. Working with the delay and the stuns. Ninety-one fence quest too. Nice, Johnny. I didn't realize how many quests were in ROK, but that's probably why I liked ROK so much on release as well. There was just so much stuff to do. You know? Yeah, and like I haven't, even with the faction stuff, I haven't been to the point where. I feel like it's mindless questing, you know what I mean? Like, they, it's a good mixture of having to kill things, having to gather things, having to talk to people. It's a good mixture of all that. It's not like, oh, I gotta go kill ten more of these. Oh, or go kill eight more of these. It's like a good mixture of killing things versus talking to people versus gathering things. So, it keeps you going. So, I hate it when it's just the same thing over and over and over and over again. That gets repetitive. That's why I don't like doing the faction grind stuff. Quest, like the repeatable quests, I usually don't do them unless it's to unlock another series or timeline. But I 
of course, I told myself and I told you guys when I started on Kaladim that this wasn't going to be a questing character, but here we are, questing it up. Starting subgroup need DPS, two of six. Bet you this guy's a warden. He's a monk. The Shimmering Citadel. I need to update the word game, actually. Now that I think about it. Hello? Johnny V redeemed ad time for 1500 plat. I got you, Johnny. Thank you, man. Run an ad break, guys. Apologize. Sit tight, relax. You'll be right back for the non subs here. So I just need one more of these and then I can go kill two more skeletons. Don't let it fail. Okay, good. Reeves needs a comp upgrade. Besides, you should all be subs, right? For sure. Thank you, Johnny. Ah, uh, that's all good. I'm not worried about the upgrade. It'll happen at whenever, at some point. It's no big deal. I just like letting you know where whatever money I get from the stream, I just like you guys knowing where it's going so you're not thinking that I'm using it on things not related to you guys, you know. Unless you tell me to spend it on beer or something like that. Oh, thank you, Insize. Very nice, man. Appreciate that. Thank you, dude. This guy is a placeholder for some named, and he is a pain in the butt to kill. Because he hits fast, he stuns a lot. So we hit the, we went over the data cap today. Comcast has been notifying me every time I go over. So I'm using that free month that they gave me. Thank you, Insize. I appreciate it, man. Try to. I try to. That was the whole reason we started streaming in the first place was because, like, I felt like there were a few good streamers for EverQuest 2, but during the times that I wanted to watch, I didn't see a lot. And, um, I was just like, yeah, let's try this thing out and see what happens. Here we are. Here we are. EQ2 is definitely an underappreciated game on Twitch, for sure. For sure.
save that. We'll save the hounds for the next one. Let's go ahead and kill this one with the heroic opportunity. Summon the hounds on that one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It gets really awkward when chat stops talking. Not that I haven't... Pr I, I, I feel like I'm pretty good about talking to dead chat as well. Not dead chat, but lurk chat. So, I think I've, you know, come to terms with it. I mean, I have been streaming for three years now, I guess. It takes a lot of practice, and I still get uncomfortable sometimes, but... It is a skill, for sure. Somebody asked me that on YouTube not too long ago. They commented on one of the videos. They're like, how the F do you talk the entire time for three hours? <laughs> I was like, I was like, you just got to narrate shit. Whatever's, whatever the first thing that comes to your mind, just say it. Well, not always the first thing that comes to your mind because that'll get you in trouble. But um, just narrate whatever you're thinking. I went to YouTube and searched EQ2 streamers and saw your vids. So here I am. Can't complain. Sorry to say, but I've only been subbing a month. But uh, give it a bit and I'll sub for another tell year. Thank you, man. You don't. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate the support. I am working on one year sub badges that are going to um, make you guys stand out in the chat. Um, not that you don't stand out now with the current sub badge because it changes with color. So the younger the subscriber support that you have, the matches the color of the sub badge. So like the green ones are the first three months and then you go to blue, I think. And then it goes to yellow, orange, and then red. Um, but I'm working on a new... Um, badge for one year subscribers. So you guys are going to stand out in chat and it's going to look, I think it's going to look really good. Like I'm, I'm excited to put them in. I just got to get them done. I gotta have time to work on them on off stream. Well met. Oh, this is the first time interacting with a streamer. I've watched other streams, but never bother talking to them. You seem chill, dude. Just plays EQ2 and jams to some Godsmack. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't listened to Godsmack in a long time, though, man. I wish I could play music on stream, though, and not have to worry about my VODs. Because I listen to a little bit of everything, not going to lie. Most people think, like, they see the hair, and they're like, oh, this guy listens to metal all day long. But I actually... I go around, go around all the sounds, all of the sounds. You'll hear country, electronic, rock, metal, core, rap. Kills everything. Like my real, like my real life friends that are like that follow me on Spotify and whatnot. Like my Spotify playlists are all over the fucking place. Spotify doesn't even know how to recommend shit to me. Put it that way. They're just like, whatever. Just throw stuff at him. Throw new music at him. Doesn't matter what it is. Classical. At work, I'll listen to these focus playlists. There's just, just weird noises and shit. What's up, Roach? Spotify is poop. I like Spotify. It does what it... it I mean, it treats my needs. And right now, I got six months free, so... Of premium. So I really can't complain. Uh, looks like I need to gather. Hold on. Bone splint protectors. Feel the bone. And I need to gather these glowing mushrooms, apparently. If we get. If we get. Um, thousand viewers in the stream, Rebus to shave his head? No, I won't. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this fucking guy again. Nah, I can't shave my head. 
people would have too much of an issue with that. <laughs> Reeves will be the problem. Reason I get a comp to play EQ2 again. Yeah, I've I've been the reason for a lot of people to come back to EQ2. Some people have even came back and then put it back down. And they're like, God damn it, Rebus, I'm back. I'm like, sorry. Sorry. Mostly have them on the old country like Johnny Cash. No new country. It's not even country. I'm not a hip hop person. I got you. In size. Roach says, you don't have to shave your head. Get September Girl to do it. September Girl won't do it. She hated my hair the first time because uh, we actually got set up. It was a blind date situation. A buddy, a uh, buddy of mine, set us up on a date, and she, you know, didn't know anything about me, didn't see me, anything like that. What's up, Zim? Zim's raiding with a party of four. Thank you for that, man. Appreciate that. Gotcha. Here, shout out at Zim Zors. But, um, so me and September girl met on the first date and she saw my hair and this was, I was going through the ugly phase, the ugly phase of growing out the hair. Like it was not this at all. And, um, my buddy, like after the first date, he texts me and he's like, Hey, I heard things went pretty good. I'm like, yeah, things were great. It was a fun, had a good time. And he's like, um, I think you're gonna have to cut your hair. And I'm like, well, I guess that's just not going to work out then. <laughs> He's like, really? I'm like, dude, I like my hair. I can't, I don't want to cut it off. I'm, I'm going through a phase right now where it's got to get longer before it gets better looking. But it grew on her. No pun intended. So now, like, she looks at some of my older photos without the hair, and she's like, don't ever cut your hair again. But I did, I have told people, like, if I start balding for whatever reason, which it doesn't run in my family, but if I do, then I would cut it again. I want that one right there, but I'm going to have to fight like four things. Well, let me, I missed some chat here. Um, tell Daybreak to put you on the payroll. You're tra Daybreak to put you on your driving traffic to the servers? Yeah, I, think, I wish. That'd be nice. I wouldn't even want to be on the payroll. Just give me stuff to give to the chat. That's all I would like from Daybreak. Or I'm not spending my money to give you all stuff anyways. Like, if they sponsored us to, like, for me to give away things to you guys, I'd totally do that. Even if it was, like, a, if they gave me some kind of codes for, like, marketplace giveaways or something, that would be awesome. Um, as a 27-year-old, my hair has been uh, receding since 18. Better not cut your hair. Um, in size, I've had multiple people tell me that, too. They're like, never cut your hair. You're growing it for the people that can't grow it. I'm like, all right, I'll just keep growing it. Things are pretty good, Zim. Can't complain, man. It's pretty chill. Works work. Florida's Florida. We got a storm coming at us, supposedly. But we'll see if it actually gets here or not. Grug's like, then you have a bullet? What? <laughs> I missed that part. I started to go bald, got my uh, head tattooed. Looks better than hair. Nice in size. The roach redeemed a highlighted message. If I start balding, I'm purposely growing half of my head of hair super long and doing the most obnoxious comb over. Nice. Very nice, roach. Johnny, Johnny's uh, Dewey? Didn't even know the storm broke. Yeah, apparently there's... um supposed to be on florida by sunday johnny here let me get you the article for it yeah that's uh i mean us floridians we know that you know this is We'll wait till 48 hours, you know, before the storm's here, before we're like, okay, it might hit us. But um, most of the time, 
these paths, like usually Floridians are like, okay, if it says it's going to hit us and it's that far out, it's definitely not going to hit us. The ones that are supposed to turn like three, three or four days before Florida, those end up hitting us. Yes. Rockets like $10. It's going up the East coast of Florida. Probably. The thing is, there's that, like they showed it on the thing. They were talking about it on the weather. There's like this low pressure out over the Atlantic that is going to keep it along the east coast for sure so if it doesn't hit florida the models are projecting it's going to go right up the east coast like you're saying what's up hardware how's it going man yeah it's, well it's not a hurricane yet but it's uh pro it's projected to be one by the end of the week probably johnny probably i mean south florida does not need a hurricane right now i mean they already have a hurricane of corona down there so like i don't think they need the actual storm on top of that but i mean maybe 2020 is just like you know what hold my beer they're like 20 percent, right five to six days out yeah yeah, I mean, I was surprised when I saw that it was projected to be here Sunday. I was like, holy fuck, that's fast. Like, usually when they see it that far out, usually you have another two weeks before it gets here. Hurricane to keep everybody home? They don't know how hurricanes work. Because in Florida, when hurricanes come, that means it's party time. It's Memorial Day all over again. Memorial Day all over again. All right, let's just aggro everything in this little circle so I can get this. Stunned. It's my tree. You didn't uh, immediately spec with that warden? No, I've been doing like my own little build, Roach. It's like a mixture of healer and then some random things. But no, I really haven't been following any like certain paths. I've just been tweaking it to my play style. Hamstring five. Hurricane for the most of Florida means get wasted. Yep. This is correct. It's time to party. Oh, we're done with the mushrooms? One splint protectors. Are those... Hold on. Shit. Those are the big spiders. Where were they at? They were over this way, right? Yeah. It's 
someone invite Tico to the guild, please? I don't know if there's any officers on right now. Yeah, there are. Do do. Apparently, uh, Tico, actually, T I C K O. Maybe it's, is it another one? <laughs> another Tico? There's Taiko. Taiko is asking for Tico to be invited to the guild. Tico, Taiko, Tico. Hey, he's got a plan. That's all it takes. That's all you need. Just gotta have a character plan for a naming scheme. It's better than Rebus's, right? How many Rebus's did we have in Fallen Gate? I think we went up to what, three S's? Very original, Rebus. Very original. This server we did Rebus backwards, which is Subber, and then we did Dweebus. What's up, Lance? How's it going, dude? Uh, we should return to Elder Shab uh, Shaman Tibbler in the burrows below Kern's Tower. Bonus Rebus? Is there a bonus Rebus? What? Oh no, did I go? I went. Oh, I passed him. Duh. Today? What's today? Today's Tuesday, right? I was like, shit, did September let me go live on the day that I wasn't supposed to be streaming? <laughs> I was like, holy cow. You're confusing me, Lance. <laughs> I was like, today is Tuesday, right? Because otherwise, I messed up. She's out there raging, probably. Fuck, is he gonna go stream right now? I can hear it already. <laughs> Working so much, I don't even know what day it is. No, I got you, Lance. I, I totally understand that, dude, for sure. Alright. Um, Elder Shaman Templar is waiting for my arrival at the Clap Clappenshine Cemetery. What? Didn't need to go up here, I think, though. I must gather aloe that grows on Big Rock Isle in Dragon's Rest. So we gotta go that way. You actually thought it was Monday? Yeah, I was off yesterday from work, so I can understand that. Yep, yesterday was my last, like, vacation day off for the next month-ish, probably. Oh man. Oh. That aggro. What? This is a cutscene? We are the cold biting that billows from across the sea. We are power, awesome, destructive, and unstoppable. 
unopposable, sorry. Far we have traveled. Am I going to die to the scorpion because I'm in a freaking cutscene? Long have we searched. Converting or crushing all before us. I got rebirth, so if I die, it's whatever. And now a petty, fractured Kunark awaits ripe for the taking. Perhaps someday this terrified bard will tell us tell of our arrival. As a cautionary tale. Of monument and might. Okay. I have never seen that either. That's kind of crazy. I thought the game had crashed. I was like, what? <laughs> huh. Uh, right now I'm work. I'm heading towards healing herbs. I'm also working a mighty blessing. And I, if you're asking where I got the quest, I have no idea. I've done so many freaking quests and fins. I'm up to how many completed quests and fins? Ninety-three completed quests and fins right now. No, which one triggered the cutscene? I have no, I don't know if one particular one started. Actually, you know what? It happened right when I ran through here. So I don't know if there's like, if it was a. Uh... Something that, I don't know. I don't know what quest would have started it actually. All right, so I need um, aloe that grows on this rock, apparently. Maybe. So I'm like halfway there. Great. Great. That's awesome. Where is this aloe? Is it trackable? No, it's not trackable. There's a bunch of crabs, though. Don't want the crabs, chat. Just saying. Oh, there's aloe. Jeez. It's kind of hard to see there. Gotta get the aloe for the crabs. We got the crabs. Just don't get crabs, readers. Well, we're here. We've got crabs. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. We're about to get crabs for a second time. Dad jokes. Where do cats write notes? Scratch paper. I mean, it's not lying. Evil kitten, what's going on? Aloe doesn't help with crabs. Heard from a friend. Uh, how's it going, Evil? 
Hope we're doing well. Staying healthy, I hope. I see what you did there, Rebus. Not lion. Good one. <laughs> yep, I should return to Pudge the Brave within the burrows below Kern's Tower in Fens of Nassar. What goes up but not down? Goes up but not down. I don't know. You again? Doing good, buddy? Been a while. Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Puppy Pizza Party. Thank you for that follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lately, my blood pressure. Nice. Nice, Lance. I mean, sad that you're Blood pressure's up there. But, uh... I like it. Thank you for that follow, puppy. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Oh, your age. Oh, I get it. Nice. Very nice. Oh, thank you, puppy. Sweet. Uh, glowing gem of casting haste. Cool. Stormcaller's spring weave tunic. We also need to find this uh, ceremony. Ceremony. I'm not going to tell me that, where that's at. Um, Tibbler. And then we also, I am, um, I am to wring the juice from parched caculents that wander the beach near Dragon's Rest Shallows. I am to hunt bone claw destroyers that walk within the field of bone for their meat. Well, let's go talk to this dude first and then we'll do that stuff. Evil Kitten, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate that, dude. God. Just aggroing everything right now. Dara told me that, um, six-year-old joy. <laughs> nice. Very nice. That's awesome. Sometimes kids, I mean, they surprise you, man. Inside says, wait, he rages? I love a good rage. Wait till he rages, but he can't change that statement. I only rage when I'm playing Magic the Gathering. Like, and that's when I tell, I'm told I cuss a lot during Magic the Gathering, too. So. There's that. I wouldn't say I rage, but I, I mean, I do get kind of heated or salty. <laughs> His glasses fog up. Stop. It's always the calm before the storm. It's awaiting the arrival of the Clavin. This is where I'm at, right? Uh, voice carrier Rebus, you have entered the Roken Knot and thus accepted the mantle of Roken Dew. Um, yes, I have. 
Shush, the blessings of Klavenstein's ceremony that are bestowed upon ye within the broken knot are transferred to the brave ones that have been sent to battle. As the shine water is prepared, ye are to perform the sacred knot hop. What? Dance. Oh. Okay. Dancing. He's dancing. We're all dancing. Still dancing. The shine water is ready. Let the shine upon the rock and do bless and protect the lives of the brave. That tingles. This is getting really weird. That's what the bucket's for. You'll want to get out. Get that out of your eyes. It's not part of the ceremony. I feel like something just happened here, chat, that I'm not comfortable with. <laughs> Pretty sure this dude just did something that was, uh... I don't know. I really don't know. Your favorite, uh, goblins? Friend's favorite, favorite deck? I was playing um, a mono red deck all yesterday. I know there are some people raging against me because they were hating it. But I was trying to get my dailies done. And I was just, it was a nasty deck. Mine right now is the crazy camera and the original Tomb Raider. Anyone who plays that game would know what I'm talking about. Which Tomb Raider, old PS2 Tomb or new Tomb? PS2, playing on PC. Ooh, I haven't played those in a while. Um, it's waiting for my, I was here. Now what do I, oh, I need to do something with this. Wash face. He put something on my face, chat. The blessing is complete. <laughs> I will now take my leave. Feel very used by that belly whomper. Feel very used right there, chat. I'm just saying. I had to dance and then things were on my face. Stuff was on my face after I danced. I don't know. Alright, so we gotta go this way. Actually, let's go around the edge here. Did something on your face because he thought you had crabs. Part of that aloe, I guess, right? The old system I have now is a PSP. I've been playing uh, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Nice, in size. PSP, man. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Oh, those are the cactuses I need. Reba, so you only play Magic the Gathering on computer, or do you have actual cards? I only play on the computer. So Timber Girl has a few sets, a few decks of cards. Um, I do have a Family Night Magic the Gathering card game. It's it's basically uh, five pre-made decks, and um, you play against each other with that. But I don't have any like current set editions or anything like that. But I mainly just play on the computer, because I'm the only one that really... Please here. I got you, Lance. All good, dude. But yeah, I mainly I play uh, Magic Gathering Arena. Is what I play in size. It's really good, man. If you haven't tried it, I'd highly recommend it. It's my it's one of my off stream things that I do a lot. I usually play once at least once every three days. So once you once you get a computer going. And it's free. Free to play. Yeah, I used to stream it. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
for the new Monster Hunter world, but it's so new and new age, just babies with your hands hands out. Old PSP Monster Hunter with shit hard Monster Hunter veterans will know what I'm talking about. I got you. I've never been much of a Monster Hunter. Um, I've never played any of the Monster Hunters. I did play Dauntless for a little bit, which is like a free-to-play version of that, I guess. It has its own things going on in the game, but it's similar to that. You just you find the monsters and kill them and there's quests and stuff like that, but... I've got magic on my Xbox, but I enjoy the real-life cards uh, better, and that's a... That's a bet, good sir. <laughs> nice. Um, Arena is only PC right now. I know there are um, other Magic the Gathering games out there, but a Magic the Gathering Arena is only on PC. And it's actually got some flack because it, people want it on mobile. Because people like it that much. But I highly recommend it for a card game if you haven't tried it. Roach is at 66,195 copper. All right, we're at, at all those. I am to hunt bone call destroyers that walk within the field of bone. Bone Claw Destroyers. No, this is good. Yes, but it's easier than Monster Hunter. If you ever had a chance to play PSP Monster Hunter, please, please do. It's a rage game for sure. And so I just want my blood pressure to go up. <laughs> Uh, so we need, what are these things called? Bone Claw Destroyers, huh? Which side are they on? Fizzle's logged in. What's up, Fizzle? I understand the mobile way easier, but the real life card game is almost like like almost like a life cycle. The searching and hard work to get cards. Five hundred dollars in my El Razi deck. Nice. Yeah. Um. I played the first time I ever played Magic was in high school. A buddy of mine he collected cards. I I was too poor to collect the physical cards. So I was, whenever we wanted to play, I was always at his house and he would like lend me a deck or let me put something together myself there. Um, but then after high school, I never really played again. I lost touch with those friends and uh, then I started playing. Uh, it wasn't until, what, two years ago, Chad, I think we found Arena. We played it for a little bit. We streamed it for a little bit. And I've been playing since. Uh, no, so the PSP Monster Hunter is more of a passion than what is now Monster Hunter World with my eyes closed. It's so easy. Gotcha. I've never played any of them. So, be interesting to see. I'll have to look up some gameplay for it. See what it looks like. Oh, no, no, no. You're fine inside this. You're good, dude. Not spamming anybody. Hitty Warden seeking Sebelis. I'm thinking of making a tune called Power Leveling and Selling... What? What? A 
That's funny. Looking for group chat. I tell you. Chat away, that's what it's here. Yep. Johnny says, I'm just playing some EQ2 also. Yep. That's what we're here for, right? First time interacting with the stream. I'm not trying to overwhelm. Just never ha uh, find anyone who has the same interest. No, it's all good. Inside, you're good, dude. I appreciate it. Did you ever play Battlegrounds on EQ2? Yes, yes, back in the day, long time ago. You're talking about the ones in Majdul, right? In the city where you go in there and um, you get the illusion for different things that give you different abilities or whatever. That's how it was back in the day when I did it anyways. And then you had to level up that illusion or something. What I remember. All right, it says I, return, re, I should return to Pudge the Brave within the burrows. Okay. He is over there. Ooh, there's a shiny right there. Please be something I don't have. Thank you, Rhino Horn. Ooh, that completes that one. Hell yeah. Very nice. Rhino Horns is ready to be turned in for your reward. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, when they first... Okay, so when they, Desert of Flames first came down, it might have been a group update, or a game update though, not the actual expansion unlock. But there was a mode where you would go into Maj Duel and there was, uh, there was an NPC outside. You would talk to that NPC and you would um, he'd give you a choice of an avatar or whatever it was called. Back, I can't remember the exact name for it, but it was like an illusion thing that you would cast. And you would zone into the, um, the battleground. There'd be like a little bit of a queue system and you get teamed up against other people or it was like a free-for-all. I can't remember. It might have just been a free-for-all. So then um, you'd go in there and you'd have a certain, your hot bar would change to whatever the illusion or whatever thing you cast on yourself's abilities. And um, you would PVP in that. Battlegrounds was a PVP where you'd go into matches like Capture the Flag and King of the Hill. I don't remember those. I must, I must have been like when they first, like I don't know what it was actually. It was in Majdul, though. I know that. It was right there in the center of the city. There was like a zone where you would go up to the door. There was an NPC outside. You talked to him, and then you would zone into the door. And it had like its own reward system and everything. So maybe I'm talking about the stuff that happened before those battlegrounds. Maybe. The Mystery of the Cursed Tower. It's been entirely too long since the brave warriors of Clan Bellywomper have entered Kern's Tower. Chief Lump and the other elders are very worried. Considering I was already blessed by the my participation in the clap, clap, clap and shine ceremony, I was the next logical choice to enter the tower and find out the fate of the warriors. This is a faction. Plus 10,000 with the Belly Wampers. You have your choice of a Buckler of Mysterious Tower, a Sensor of Mysterious Tower, or a Mace of Hibernation. That Mace of Hibernation looks pretty nice. It looks like shit, though. Reduces reuse time of beneficial spells by 
That's actually not bad. That'd be a nice solo weapon right there. We must enter Kern's Tower through the... <laughs> Fuck. I don't think we have Kern's Tower yet, do we? Uh, where's my browser? There it is. The Mystery of the Cursed Tower. Thank you to uh, enter Kern's Tower via the Burnie Burrows. Climb the wall, clear the room, and kill the Guardian and left to gray left. Use a teleportation pad, use a disc controller, and go to the next level. Kill the Black. Turn to the Chief. Oh, that's another one of those heroics that we're just going to have to put on the back burner. Lance says, the arena in module? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't even know about that module. That must have been after I left. I, I I don't know then. We might be talking about different things, Johnny. Like there was Battlegrounds before that? I don't remember that. I, I'm i pretty sure the Arena Maj Duel PvP was like... That was... I mean, that was like part of the first EQ2 PvP. Because it wasn't long after they did those arenas where they um, released the Nagafin server. The first Hagafin server, I think. You and Guild, so, um, you and a Guild, if so, what are they called? Are they taking new players? If so, are they, I don't want to say picky, but interested in certain player classes. Um, I'm in Aftermath. It's a, it's a good Guild. Plenty of people playing. They love new players. They love helping out people. Um, usually the higher population is on in the later Eastern times. So if you play earlier, um, you might not see as many people on, but the weekends were pretty busy and we're always inviting new players. So you can just search Aftermath. Um, I don't want to say picky, but um, but interested in only certain, no, they're not, um, no, they, anything. Uh, the raid, the raid team for Aftermath is full right now, as far as I know. So don't expect to be raiding like on the raid team kind of scenarios, but they do, um, they do pick up raids every once in a while and stuff like that. Once the expansion is, you know, after they've worked through a lot of the content. They all rage in Aftermath? No, they don't rage. There's no raging going on. I only, uh, the Battlegrounds were introduced in Sentinel's Fate. I think I only vaguely remember because I was super so stoked for it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. I must, I don't think I played Battlegrounds then. I thought we were, I thought that's what the arena was called was Battlegrounds, but I guess I'm wrong. No problem inside. Yeah, just look up aftermath. You when you get in the when you get onto TLE, um, you can hit U and you should see an aftermath recruiter there. Just um, and then you can hit interested and it'll send a message to them and then somebody will reply to you if there's one on. If there's not one on, then you want to look for Zoe, Z O O E Y, or probably Fizzle, and then just let them know you're from um, Rebus's channel. Get you an invite. The radar EQ, so not um. I got you. No, it's all good. I'm not a raider either. I don't raid. I have raided before. I just don't currently raid. So this is the zone in, huh? No. Can I not? Aren't you supposed to climb this or something? Weird. No problem in size. No problem at all, man. Battleground Pits versus uh Lance says the battlegrounds he must copy paste this, I think. Battlegrounds pits players versus other players in unique settings where your team works to achieve the map's goal. Play and team up with other players. Yeah, um, Champions or Spite introduced in Game Update 60. Players between level 30 and 90 are welcome. Yeah, that was that was Sentinel's Fate then. Remember it being a decent experience too, I think? Yeah. I think they talked about that in the podcast actually and how that was implemented, but it wasn't 
like fully done and they, they basically had to implement it because the higher ups another game had done a system like that and they were kind of like pushing eq2 to do the same thing because i think somebody asked a question about if they're going to bring that back into the game and Kandra was like no because it's broken <laughs> they don't have any plans of bringing it back into the game Holy shit, Chad. I think we are done with the Finns quest questing. Oh no, we still got one. We got one for the Nurga dungeon. So now all we have to do is Rillis. Rillis faction, because I want that cloak. We want the cloak. I've raided on Rift plenty of times, max level mage, healer. So I get the concept, but yeah, never um, that far in EQ2. I still hope to do e EQ3 eventually become a thing. Keep mechanics similar, but new engine and such. Yeah. If they do an EQ3, they better um, don't do an engine like EQ2 where it's not, you know, adaptable. You know? I think that's what really hurt eq2 is a lot of things they want to do with the game they can't because of the engine eq3 2035 yeah wait eq3 is really happening no there's no confirmed eq3s no confirmed it's all speculation and rumor I gotta find out Drillis faction or cloak. Cloak of Rillis. There we go. Um deciding we purchase from the cloak from Clock Zack, a faction merchant with a vendor in the Fins of Nassar. Where is he? This is right in here. Speculation room Reeves has crabs. Can I buy your cloak, sir? You're not the cloak vendor. You're a different clock. Oh, advanced. I didn't know I could get tailors from here. What? Bye. Bye. Where's the cloak at? There it is. I passed it. Oh, I can't buy it. Hmm. Two plat? Sold. All right. Put that over there. Scribe that, scribe that. Relizian Manslayer Leather Set. What, what? Let's see the stats on that. Bet you it's 45. Forty-seven. What? Chromatic Essence. Where do I get that from? Where is Chromatic Essence from, chat? The Broker? 
God. Is it really expensive? What do you call a careful wolf? A werewolf. <laughs> it's a werewolf. Duh. Duh, chat. It's a werewolf. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Is there a broker here? I, would, I just want to see how much... I really want that gear now that I can make it. Hello. But I don't know where I could get a chromatic essence. What is that made from? Chromatic essence or two plat on the broker? That's not bad. I could do that for a full set of gear that's 45 attributes, 18 spells, casting speed and reuse speed, and it has. Uh, Healing spell that casts 10% chance to pass passive aggressive on target of spell cast that decreases hate gain by 5%. If not a fighter, if fighter gain 5%. Well, I can make it too, hardware. I just need the chromatic essence. I'm an 80 Taylor, man. I got this. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Two plat. Probably going to go make that. I mean, I think that's worth it, right? That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 plat. Maybe not all pieces, though. Are all the pieces not an upgrade? Oh, they're different pieces, actually. My bad. So not all of them require the essence. Okay. It's just the breastplate. That requires the essence. Gotcha. Gotcha. So though the arms are not an upgrade. I'd be trading casting speed for DPS and haste. Inside says I'm the same way. Oh, did I miss? I missed a mess. I missed a message here. My bad. Inside. Uh, okay. I always thought EQ2 was more of a like gentleman's game. It's more fine tuned compared to WoW or what's better. Word for comparison, like WoW, Call of Duty, and EQ2 is like battlefield games in a sense, more crisp, loving. Guess if anyone can relate, that's my opinion, though. I'm not digging WoW because I've played WoW and liked it too. But EQ2 has always had my heart. Yep. Thumbed it up. Uh, inside is redeemed to hydrate for 500 plat. I got you. And then um, Inzane says, I'm the same way. Dipped into WoW and ultimately ended up playing more WoW than EQ2. But that's just because the people I knew all went to WoW. Really, I've always preferred EQ2's style. It's the best leather chest I've found. And then Hardware says no. And then Roach says F wow. Hardware says word. Lance says scumbag. You sound like shiny. <laughs> Roach says I'm nicer than shiny. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't get me wrong. Wow is good, but EQ2 is better, in my opinion. And I don't know if EQ2 has um, many DLCs as wow. But I haven't been in seeing trailers and shit. I'd rather play EQ2. Yeah, so EQ2 doesn't advertise their stuff. We have EverQuest 2's on expansion, what, 20 something or 18? Hold on. How many expansions do we have? EQ2 expansions. That doesn't even have. Yeah, that doesn't have them all either. Uh, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 expansions. Plus 5 adventure packs. The newest one being Blood of Lucklin. 
All right, Lance, have a good night, man. Thank you for hanging out. Lance says I'm off to play some Guild Wars 2. Very cool. Yeah, um, EQ doesn't have a very good advertising team, so they don't do trailers for the expansions anymore. Um, actually, the last trailer that I saw for EverQuest 2 was for... Um, I want to say... I want to say the last trailer I saw for the game was Ultra of Malice, maybe? Is the EverQuest 2 channel? Oh god. Deep here. Deep. There it is. Autoplay something. Please don't autoplay. Okay. Yeah, actually, the last trailer they have for um, is Chaos Descending. That was the last game trailer. They have, they've actually done an official trailer for Chaos Descending, um, Planes of Prophecy, Gnark Ascending, Terrors of Thalumbria. Oh, no. There's a trailer for Blood of Lucklin. Oh, I didn't really. I never, I never saw the Blood of Lucklin trailer before. Yeah, they do work on a time. I didn't really. I've never. I'd never went to the EQ2 YouTube. So that's there. There's a bunch of trailers there. EQ2 has an advertising team. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like EQ2 is working on a real tight budget. I know EQ2 has been growing. Yeah, it's it's been going, man. It's very low key though. Very low key. Their advertising, even their site design, is pretty um, anemic. Last time I went to the site, it had outdated info left on right. Yeah, it still does. They did update the site la with the Blood of Luckland expansion, but it's still got some old articles on the front page. They do trailers for all of them. You only see them on their website. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. The last one I remember catching out in the wild, like I said, was the, uh, the Lumbria one. I didn't realize that they had other ones. I didn't even know there was a Blood of Luckland trailer. They're only It was only like 30-something seconds, but... All right, so let's go. Um, let's call. Let's go make some gear, and then we'll head over to Kunzar Jungle, I guess. Let's go turn in this. Um, actually, let's go buy. The, uh, thing. All right, all right. I'll what was it called? It was called a. Your horses, and I'll be with you in a minute. Chromatic essence. Chromatic essence. Sounds like the kids are outside playing basketball. Hey, it's a one. It's two plot. Yeah. I only needed one though, right? Salmon. Yeah, it just says one. Bye. Thank you. To be honest, the only commercial I've ever seen for EQ2 was around the time of launch. It was attached to the movie and played in trailer. Yep, the original EverQuest 2 cinematic. Yeah. I remember seeing that in theaters. I, I saw it before theaters, too. But um, when I saw it in theaters, I was like, wow. Look at them. But that was the last thing we ever got. Cinematic wise. Uh, turn in this collection. I have a collection for you. Band of Horn Dust or Strength of Charge. It's got 5.7 reuse and this has 4.8 casting. 
It's a finger item. Don't I have another thing? No, these are charms. What's my casting speed at? Sixty-four percent. Got it. Head to the guild house. Yeah, I don't remember what movie it aired in. Any last time I saw it, I was searching every um, anything EQ two other than found Reeb's last month. Free to play pushed away, pushed me away because uh, when Rift went free to play, it killed the Rift. Yeah. Have a good night, Evil. Thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate the support. I'll have to go to the website because the last commercial I seen was the launch video, which was a killer. Yeah, it's not, these, it, the most of their trailers in size on YouTube are gameplay trailers. They're not really like cinematics or anything like that. So I wouldn't really, I mean, they're just, it's just showing off some of the features of the new expansion or zones of the new expansion, really. But they're still cool to check them out. Here, I'll link the, did I, did I have it up? Yeah. Here's the um, EQ2 YouTube channel, I think. I don't know why it says the link's weird, though. But. Sanctus Seru Promenade. Zoom. Make this bad boy. Relizian Manslayer Leather Tunic. Show me the money. Sweet. All right, so that one is an upgrade. Um, is the cap an upgrade? It's offensive, but it's got multi attack, DPS. Yeah, it's it's definitely an upgrade. Two seventy. The one I have is two eighty. I'll be losing spell skills and trading for offensive. And two primary. Let's go ahead and make it. Boom, 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 boom. So should I, you think I should start Jar South Waste or, oh shit, Jar South Waste or Kunzar Jungle? I'm going to say Kunzar Jungle next, right? Hey, what's up, Dark? Happy Tuesday, man. Hey, thank you for the round of 93 copper out to everybody. Appreciate that. All right, you too, Hardware. Thank you, man. Did I make two of those? Okay, no, I didn't. All right, sweet. Uh, okay, so the helm, the I think the arms we didn't need, right? Yeah, those aren't an upgrade. Um, for the pants. I 
I mean, they're technically an upgrade. Be losing 4.7 casting speed, though. Ah, uh, that EQ2 crafting. I forgot in depth it was crafting abilities. I love it, man. Real fucking game. Part of my language. <laughs> You're all good. Yeah, the crafting system's pretty fun. It's one of the better ones in any MMO. Even as this one's a little bit more cookie cutter nowadays. Um, remember the old crafting system in size? The component system where you actually had to craft the components before you can make the final item? That was my favorite. I was not. I was one of the people that was mad when they took it out of the game. So I thought that system was so good. But then they went for this easier one. Which it has its own pluses to it. Well, the reason I like the old one, you have to like 10 different components to make a table. Yeah, but I liked that one because it, it forced an interaction with other characters. It could be an, another character on your account or it could be somebody in the guild or somebody random where you'd have to get with like, if you're a, if you're a woodworker, you would have to talk to um, an armor smith or a weaponsmith to have them make the metal nuggets or something for whatever you're making. So if you're a weaponsmith, you would have to talk to a tailor to get the hilt made. Um, and then you would probably have to talk to a armor smith to get the actual, like, um, not the, not the, you got the handle, the hilt, and then the blade usually. So like it forced that social interaction with um, other players. And that's why I liked it. And it was kind of fun to kind of gather everything. It, it was, it was just a good system. I liked it a lot. I was sad when they turned it off. We losing some more casting speed here. But we're gaining multi-attack crit chance in haste. I don't think these are much better than what I currently have. What's up, Lyra? It, yeah, it kept me as kept kept me from crafting as a thirteen year old back when I wasn't a fan, but now I wish it stayed. Oh, Lyra started a pug group. Um, you can type exclamation point pug space and then the amount of copper you want to gamble to join the, the group. It's a max of um, 1,337 copper though. I'm going to join you in just a second here, Lyra. Let's finish out this crafting. Revis, sir. Thank you for that highlight insights. I appreciate that, man. Oh, you accidentally hit it. <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. <laughs> oh, um, exclamation point pug space. I'm going to do one, three, three, seven. There we go. I joined you. We need one more person before we can start the pug. Needs at least three. I think. There we go. Thank you, insane. And Johnny. Thank you, guys. All right. Bracers. Are these an upgrade? Yes. Those are an upgrade. Anyway, Reba, sir, I'm out. I'll see you later. Um, see you Saturday or next time you're on. Good luck questing. Thank you, Insize. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate the support, dude. And I'll see you this weekend. I plan on streaming normal time Saturday and Sunday, probably around somewhere after lunch. Both days, Saturday and Sunday, so. I don't have any real plans this weekend other than working around the house.
Hey, he's Zang. Took home 2,674 copper. Be nice. Way to go. Congrats. Just did some uh, Tinkerfest and got enough cogs for the wings, the rocket mount, and the new golden mechanical rhino. Pretty nice. That's awesome, Dark. What do the wings look like? Are they like mechanical wings? I'm assuming since it's, you know, Tinkerfest. Pretty sure these boots aren't better than what I currently have. No. They're not. Okay. Sweet. We got some upgrades here. Let's go ahead and replace the bracers. Gonna replace the gloves. Replace the helmet. Chest piece. Actually, uh, yeah, we're going to place the chest piece and the legs, and we're going to replace a ring. I don't think it matters which ring. Okay, so now let's do our dormant reclamation. Nope, wrong item. Dormant reclamation. Swift casting. Right, and... Okay, so now we need yep. All right, so I lost like a thousand hit points there. Would my casting speed go down to 50%, but my reuse speed went up to 35%. All right, so now I have these, and these can go on forearms, legs, wrist, cloak, charm, accolade. Hold on. I think I have some higher ones. 2.1, 20, 2.9. 3.5. Can these... Oh, damn it. Wrist Charm Accolade. Did I replace one of my wrist items, though? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. So this can go on the forearms. Okay. Shit. Wrong. God damn it. I knew I had a higher one in my bag. That off. Okay. Dope. Dope. Uh, manually. I guess it didn't really matter. Oh, I can't use it on those. That on the legs. Manually. Can't put that on that, but I can put it on this cloak, right? It's fine. I don't think I have anything else to put this on. Yeah, just 
just the legs. Alright, that's fine. Nice, Johnny. Pretty cool flying uh, as an elf with these wings. Nice. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get my uh, gear sorted here. Bear with me. All right, so that's that's all there is for that. Um, well, shoot, what do I put on that then? Those are seventy six. Four arms, legs, wrist, cloak, charm, accolade. My forearms aren't 78, they're 76, that's why. So I need... Uh, phrasing? Phrasing? That's all good, Johnny, go for it, man. I need to figure out how, what to make here. Um, where's the workbench? Bench work, bench work, bench. There it is. Unfiltered. I need just swift, right? Or is it haste? That's that's actual haste. I need. Can I make glowing? I don't think I can make glowing. Maybe I can't remember what it was called. Ding, gasp. Oh well, I'll have to figure that out off stream. I gotta figure out which ones go to what. Actually, I can't even use these. Why is this even in my freaking inventory? Get out of here. Uh, 30 ability mod for finger. I guess we can use that one on the new ring that we got. Uh, don't, 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 don't. For that one, though. Head forms. Actually, 15 is... Do I have anything higher than 15? No. Okay, so... That can go on the head. So I need one for my hands. My hands, my hands, my hands are on fire. And 20 health, I guess. What is this one, though? Swift casting, forearms, legs, wrist, cloak. Whatever. Yeah. 
here. Let's put that one on my cloak then. Can I use it on my cloak? I can. Yes. It's fine. Oh, these fucking adornments, man. Okay, so that's sorted for now. Let's go ahead and port to Kunzar. Start questing over there. EQ2 inventory management is always interesting. No, it's not. It really isn't. It's like, uh, what the fuck is that again? Yeah. I hate it. I really hate it. Kunzar jungle. I mean, I, I don't. I understand. It's nice that you actually have to pay attention to what you have in your inventory sometimes. Stu's got his druid epic. Bite of the wolf. Let's see what I'm going to look like when I have mine. Oh, I can't. Look at that badass right there. That's legit. That's going to be nice when I get that. Matches my whole setup chat. It all comes together. It's all part of the plan. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. That's going to be badass. Oh, can't wait for that. All right, so... Let's find some quests. You would normally enter from Fins of Nassar, but do you think you would enter here, or do you think you would enter here? I'm going to say we're probably going to would normally enter from down there. So we're going to take a... Actually, no, you know what? We probably entered from the other one. I'm going to take a flight path to Jinx post. Hell yeah, right Johnny? That looks good. Can't wait. We gotta get 80 and then we'll start working on the um, epic timeline. The thing is, it's gonna take me a while to get epic because that that fucking Reet faction grind is serious. It's gonna be hard. Really, really, really hard. Um, do I not have any quests for inside Kunzar? Interesting. Please don't kill me. Damn it. They don't like me here. But there's quests here. I'm sorry. But you have to die. You son of a biscuit. Epic doesn't need any raid content? Not that I know of. Now, if I go for Mythical, which is like the particle effect version and the buff, then yes, that requires Fusion's Peak, I believe. How am I supposed to get these quests? Hello. Boom, 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 which I did my mythical on my monk in the last TLE, and I'll do, I'm going to try to do mythical on this guy, on this character, I'm going to try, can't promise that I will finish it, but I'm going to try to finish it.
It was nice with my monk because I had Nid and Jorb to help me out, but they haven't been... Their playtimes have been different than me lately. I got a bunch of... Did I get all the quests from the Jinx area over here? So. Got a bunch of turn-ins over this way. Boom, 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 boom. Gather up all of the quests. All of the quests. Where is this guy that I need to talk to over here? Oh, 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 oh. I guess we're fighting. I guess we're fighting. He's dead. Yeah, Mythical should be fun. I'm hoping to work it. Um, I was able to complete it on my Monk, but I didn't stream it. I ended up raiding for a few hours, but it was it was on a non stream night. And we did all of Vishen Speak with the old guild relapse. Hello. Hello. Oh no, there's lots and lots of larvae. Oh, scale ripper. Well met. Well met. There's a quest over here. Bone digger excellence. But so it looks like we have a turn in over there. Plenty of things to kill. Did I read a new server comes out in November? I don't think so. I don't think they've announced officially that anything comes out. There's a named right there. Good hunt to you. Alright, is that all the quests? Nope, still got another one over here. Do y'all have a link? Is it on the official EQ2 website or forms? Because I wouldn't really believe anything until you see it officially from them. I don't know why they would... Oh, this is a... Re of our freaking repeatable quest. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> On over this way, we gotta turn in. The Daybreak website shows it? Heard it in the podcast? What? Hold on, let me, let me go see this. I don't know why they would, if they, hmm. Hmm. I and mean, they haven't got.
All right, and talk to him. Really? Yay! Not KOS anymore. Hell yeah. There's a quest over here. Where's it at? Don't see anybody. Right. Oh, the repeatable. All right, I think we've gathered all of the quests for Kunzar Jungle. How many is that? 12 right now? All right, let me go see this. I know you're thinking, and I thought the same thing. Let me go, let me check this out. Let me go see this. It's on the EverQuest 2 website now. Huh? I'm not seeing anything. Somebody got a link? Hey, what's up, Sen? I missed you, man. Sorry I missed you in chat there. Kick his ass, sea bass. doing um two, okay so five minutes 20 minutes sad tell of rod quiz caraz i should gather lynch lynch and clover roots for rod crows from root cords scrap that see i didn't I didn't think officially they announced it. I know they'd mentioned something in the podcast, but there was no, like, uh, November 29th. So yeah. They did Rivervale. That was 2019, which was, uh, Rivervale was a TLE server, but it was, you start, your character starts at level 90. So any character you would have made on that server started at level 90. It it has, I mean, the, the people that right now play on Rivervale love it. The, because the people that are there are returning players and um, everybody's in the same boat. The economy is not too screwed up. But um, I hear the population's a little meh. But the people that are playing there love it. I just don't see why anybody would want a TLE that started at level 90. That's why I didn't play on it. Especially when you can just log into a live server and get a character boost and start a level... One on ten, but um, leveling it in the live server is very fast. So it doesn't matter. Even if you made a new character on live, you could probably get them to one hundred in no time. All right. Um, what am I doing? Sad tale. Let's pull that quest up. Sad. Tale of Row 
Roz, EQ2. Um, gather three lunch liver roots. You can find them aerating root cords just near Karaz. If you already have the roots on you, you don't need to harvest more. You can buy these or they can be traded to you. There is a broker in Kunzar Jungle at the location, blah, blah, blah. Kill four Kunzar Scale Rippers. I got a lake. Go there. Pull up chat. How you started? Yeah, I mean, yeah, sorry. Sorry, Greg. I didn't mean to make it seem like it was, like, super fast, but, I mean, it does, it does take a little bit of time. These give me faction hits, don't they? Oh no, it doesn't. Collection. These things sound like old swing sets. Where people rev their engines so high outside that it's stupid. You see those in the Nexus? You like that one, Dark? Yeah. I have another one from that movie, too. Well, hello, beautiful. Yeah. Heath Ledger was a... He was a... That was a great role for him. was the um i think so too i haven't i haven't seen the new joker movie though um with uh what's his face but i hear that one's pretty good pretty well done too um but uh what was the movie heath ledger was in is the old um medieval one i've seen it so many freaking times and i can't remember the name of it right now for the life of me it was like a romantic thing. I'm gonna have to look it up. I was thinking about it the other day and I could not think of the name of the movie to save my life. Ledger. This is IMDB. Oh God. Show me the movies he was in. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Shiny? What's going on? Oh, Knight's Tale. Thank you, Grog. Yeah, that was a great movie. I like that one, too. Watch the hell out of that movie. What you got going on tonight, Shiny? Traxxas. Thank you for that follow. Welcome, dude. 
You got you got no idea what's going on tonight, Shiny? No idea? Nothing? Nada? Changing your deity probably. <laughs> okay. Did your god forsake you, Shiny? Is that what's going on? Yeah, Knight's Tale. Yeah, that was a good movie. Looped. We finally made it out of Fens. We still have one heroic quest doing Fens, but I'm going to wait till I'm level 80, and then we'll get our group together for it. So we're moving over into Kunzar Jungle. Questing. Give it up, it only took eight days inside of Fens. Only eight days. What ascension are you, Rebus? On live? I am a um My Necromancer is a Thermogurge or something. And my monk is a I don't remember what my monk is. A Geo something, I think. A monk. Geo answer. Or is that backwards? Is my necro a geomancer or my monk is a thermal gauge? Thermite? Ther whatever, blah, 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 whatever it's called. very much oh hello yes sure or are you talking are, are you asking if i have a deity on this server because i have not done any of the deities here yeah geomancer is my monk i think i'm pretty sure Well, I went because it had um, crushing, I think. It uh, had a lot of crushing and uh, something else. Doo -doo -doo. We're killing some kitty cats. Saber cats have to die. For the better cause. They scare the Ixars, so we must kill them. Must kill all Saber Cats. Gauntlets of the Animator, level 80, Fabled Gear. 47 primary attributes, 47 stamina, 19 offensive skills, 3.9 potency, 2.5 crit chance, 10.5 DPS, 6.4 multi-attack. So leather armor, level 80. All fighters, all priests, all scouts, when equipped, reduces the reuse time of beneficial spells by 2%. I will take one, please. If you like war movies, the new movie Greyhound was really good. Tom Hanks. Hardware is actually getting on to me about that because I didn't know what that movie was. Like, I have not heard of Greyhound, but I'm definitely going to add it to the list of movies to check out. Because I do like war movies. The last war movie I watched was... Hold on. It's the one with the two... 
two guys. Uh, I, I want to say it was World War One. Oh, what was the name of that movie? Hold on, I'll look it up. I'm like the two guys. Yeah, 1917. Thank you, Greg. Yeah, I liked that one. That was good. I still have, um, I've been trying to watch, I don't think it, I don't think it's going to be very good, but I want to watch Midway, the newer one. This is terrible. It's really, yeah, true. Fact. <laughs> I want to, I want to see the newer Midway movie. Oh, you liked it? It was good. It looked kind of flashy and it's got one of the Jonas brothers in it. So I was like, eh, maybe it's good. Maybe it's not good. It didn't seem very gritty, put it that way. It's super long though, isn't it? It's like close to three hours. I have to just split it up. Watch half of it one night and then another half. I finished um, Letter to the King on Netflix. That's not a war movie. It's like a fantasy thing. It was all right. I didn't like the ending. Um, and now I'm watching um, Fear City on Netflix. Makes you feel like you're right there in the cockpit. Nice. Yeah, Midway's been on my movie list for a while now. All right, eight of eight of those. Can we go turn that in? Done with those two. Is that, is there? Oh, there is no turn in for that. Where am I going then? Turn around like I know what I'm doing. Oh, there's some people over there I need. Don't need those stone gazers yet. Hi guys. What's going on? Yeah, I watched the Warrior Nun. It was good. I um I actually binged that one. Because I originally started that thinking it was a movie. And it was a serious so i ended up watching it that weekend i think i went over friday saturday and sunday i watched the whole thing it was i liked it it was good i liked how it turned into sci-fi because i was totally expecting it to be like supernatural shit and then it went sci-fi and i'm like hell yeah i'm sold give me another season please Shit. Jesus. May have bit off more than I can chew here. Oh god. Clinch. And a total cliffhanger. I'm so sure second season's coming. Yeah, I know. That cliffhanger was real. I almost, like, when it happened, too, I was at the freaking season page, and I'm like, hold on, that wasn't the finale. I'm like, nah, they can't leave it like that. So I'm, like, looking around for the next episode. I'm like, motherfucker, that was the last fucking episode. Are you serious right now? I was getting mad. <laughs> I was getting so mad.
I didn't see that cliffhanger coming either. Not like that. I thought for sure they were going to be able to finish the main part of this story and go on, but no, not. I told a buddy of mine because he was asking about it. I'm like, I'd probably just wait until they announce the second season. <laughs> At this point, I think they've had enough people watch it to get another season, but I would still wait until the end. Because if they don't announce another season for that, I'm going to be mad. And granted, I only spent the weekend watching it, but... I know, right? And then they might not even be actual demons, right? We don't know. We don't know what they are. Aliens, man. Aliens. The Cluck Atrice. A quest name because it doesn't have a star next to it. Got him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, well, let's just get out of there. Okay. Well, chat, that is going to do it for me this evening. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Get off a little bit earlier. Get the kids to bed. Hope September we'll get the kids to bed because it sounds like it's kind of rowdy out there. Thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it this evening. Thank you for all the support. Had some follows tonight. Had some ad times tonight. Had some hydrates tonight. Had a subs tonight. We had a little bit of everything. It was a good night. Appreciate it, guys. If you are following the channel, you can type exclamation point enter. That'll put you in for the channel currency giveaway that I'm about to do. There are two types of currency in the channel. There's the channel point system, which is the little platinum symbol down below your send message box. There's some stuff in there to redeem. There is a new thing in there to redeem that uh, nobody redeemed tonight. So we'll just have to do it next stream because I'm not doing it right now. But um, there is a story time in there. And whenever somebody does redeem that, we'll explain it and go through it and do it and see how that works. But um, you can. that's one channel point system or channel currency. And then the other channel currency is the copper system. That is the original bot system. Um, you can use that currency to purchase VIP access. You can um, also play the mini games, roll dice, gamble with it, play the sound effects, all that jazz. That's the channel currency giveaway that I do. But um, yeah, it was a good night. We did some questing. We finally got through the majority of Finn's questing. Um, it's all done. Good. I think there's like a few heroic quests here and there between that zone that we got to go do, but we're going to wait till we get 80 and then we'll hit up all the dungeons um, and try to get those going. Just got back in Kaladim. Nice, Mo. Enjoy it, man. It's pretty busy right now. It's crazy with Rise of Knark. People got beef with the, um, uh, with the gear, but I mean, that's, that's TLE. Everybody has beefs with the gear. But yeah. It's good times, dude. Um, the announcement for the stream anniversary. The stream anniversary will be held on August 15th. It'll be three years. It'll be our third stream anniversary. So three years of streaming. 
be giving away one of our glass steins, the Rebus steins, again, on that day. Uh, plan on streaming for about 12 hours that Saturday. Play, you know, play a bunch of different games. Play some EQ, EQ2. I got to plan it out and see what we're going to play, how we're going to do it. We might. I mean, we could possibly play EQ2 all day. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. We'll see what we get into. But rolled, rolled an 18, lost 10,000 copper. Um, if you want to check out any of the past broadcasts, you can follow me over on YouTube. All my VODs get uploaded to there. You can also follow me on Twitter. I tweet things sometimes. Usually try to give you guys a heads up on streams and um, uh, canceliza cancelizations or, you know, just random thoughts over there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So stream anniversary, August 15th. Mark it on your calendars, chat. You have to at least stop in and type exclamation point enter on that giveaway for a chance at the Stein. The last year's winner was Jorman. Jorman won the last Stein. It was mailed out to him. Um, the winner before that one was... What is his name? I haven't seen him in a while, actually. I think he changed his Twitch name, though, so I could be lying. He was one of my first subs. I don't remember his name, though. And I think he changed it, because I think I remember him messaging me and saying he changed his name. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this would be the third year, third Twitch anniversary. It'll be on August 15th. Um, next planned stream is Saturday. So I should be streaming Saturday afternoon. We'll pick up in Kunzar Jungle. All that jazz. Shiny spamming some thumbs up. Hell yeah. Stream anniversary. Yep, 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 yep. It's going to be an all sa all day Saturday stream. Hell yeah. But I think that's it for news. I think we're good. All right. Oh, let me do this giveaway. I'm sitting there like, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. Closing. And then we're going to pick a winner. And the winner is Lance Link. Congrats, Lance. Give. Oh, actually. Give. <laughs> Shiny wins. Um, Lance, he's not here right now, but he's Gear Wars 2. But there you go. 5,000 copper to Lance. But uh, yeah. Y'all stay healthy out there. Stay safe. Be good humans to each other. And we'll be back. I'll see you this weekend. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe we'll talk this weekend. We'll chit chat. Answer questions. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. Have a good rest of your week. Like I said, stay safe out there, guys. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Let's go ahead and see today's moments. If you're new to the stream and you hit that follow button, you're about to see your name come up on the stream. At the end of every stream, I do a credits after the giveaway. Or I should say moments, not credits, because I changed that so we had some new followers tonight welcome to the community everybody Traxus 450 thank you puppy pizza party very antisocial. welcome to the community thank you evil kitten thank you for that resub twitch prime i appreciate it man appreciate all the support guys um i think this is the actual last stream of july have a good one ma you too you too johnny Johnny, shiny, dark, drug, hardware, Tully. See y'all. Rocket, Sin, Skeletor. Appreciate it, guys. But yeah, this is the last stream of July. Holy shit. Because July 31st is Friday. Yeah, so Saturday will be the first stream of August. So thank you for a great month, everybody. I appreciate it. I don't foresee a bonus stream this week because I just don't have any time for it. Unless for some reason work cancels, but no, that's not happening. 
It's all good, Mo. I appreciate it, man. We'll see you next time. Yeah, thank you for a good month of July, everybody. I appreciate all the support. And uh, we'll catch you all this weekend. Y'all have a good night. Say what?